one. Welcome back to ESBR Boxing's YouTube channel. I'm delighted, as always, to be joined by Thomas Caffey. This is a final prediction video for Tiafimo Lopez versus Steve Claggett. Um, Tiafimo Lopez is is defending his WBO super lightweight title against Steve Claggett, who's coming into this 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 fight as, as a major underdog. Thomas, we're back again. Um, I know you said to me off camera that you were really looking forward to this fight. Um, so I'm gonna gonna let gonna let you crack on with your with your final prediction. What is your what do you what are your what is your on your mind for Tiafimo Lopez versus Steve Claggett? Um, well, I definitely think that Tiafimo is he needs another good performance after last time. Yeah, uh, he's you know did kind of develop this reputation as being like very hot and cold type of fighter, and um, I think tonight though. Uh, just I think that Steve Claggett was chosen to give Tiafimo Lopez a good night. Uh, just judging by you know what we know of him and what we've seen of his record, uh, not really seven losses, I I believe, and uh, not really much there. So, um, yeah, I expect Tiafimo to win by stoppage say mid rounds say round six seven yeah yeah no we'll we'll see i think you meant you used the phrase hot and cold there and i think that's the best phrase to use to describe tifimo lopez the most hot and cold fighter at kind of at world level and i think one question i've got in regards to lopez is when did he last produce two good performances back to back and i think you're going back a few years now to be honest um, and I think maybe it's a case of, look, motivation levels for certain opponents. Maybe he's just not a very consistent fighter. But it makes videos like this a bit more interesting. Um, because I think, look, if you would, if we were doing a final uh, final prediction video for Tifima Lopez against Vasil Lomachenko, probably would have both got it wrong. Tifima Lopez versus George Cambosas Jr. Probably would have both got it wrong. Tifima Lopez versus Josh Taylor. I would have got that one wrong. I'm not going to speak for you as well. So he's, it's such a tricky fight. So obviously he had that really close fight against um, Sandor Martin as well a couple of years ago. But Steve Claggett is just, he's, he's just such a level, he is seen as a level below um, a lot of the fighters that Tiafimo Lopez has not has not only faced, but has beaten as well. Um, I'm actually going to disagree with you to an extent on this one, Thomas. I'm going for Lopez to win. However, I'm going for a a drab, disappointing points win. I'm not convinced he'll stop Steve Clagg. I think he'll he'll it won't be close. He'll win pretty much all of the rounds. But I I yeah, we'll kind of see how entertaining it is. Um, but look, this if we're being honest here, this isn't a massive fight. This isn't a fight that many people are talking about. That there's kind of a big a big buzz in the US or in the UK or anywhere else about this fight. It's not it's not one of those. Especially obviously, there's another big fight happening in, 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 in the U S tonight in, in Arizona, but um, maybe that's taken away something from it as well, but I'm um, going to disagree with you um, and disagree with you at the same time, Thomas, I'm going for Tiafimo Lopez to win this fight on points. Um, moving forward. Um, it's a tricky question. There's, there's so many big names in the super lightweight division and it's a complicated scenario at the moment. You've got kind of, um, the Devin Haney, Brian Garcia situation. Um, Matias has just lost to Liam Paro. Um, Isaac Cruz is, is 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 a world champion in the division. Um, Jack Catterall is facing Regis Progre in August. Any idea what Tiafimo Lopez is going to do next, Thomas? I, know, I think it's a really kind of difficult question. But what what, what have you got for us? Oh man, one hundred and forty is just so loaded. You know, it's. Uh... It would be it would be a challenge to figure out which direction he would go next, but um, you know I think I think he should go for um a a unification fight, um perhaps um against maybe against Liam Paro yeah yeah who who just won uh WBO a couple weeks ago. Or, uh, um, or perhaps he could uh, face Alberto uh, Pueo, mm. who 
just captured, who have just been promoted to uh, world champion not that long ago. Um, but yeah, something, something big, something that's going to get, I mean, not that those fights would necessarily be big, but they're unification fights and it's, it's a step up from what we're getting now. And I think that those kind of fights are what would draw a better performance out of Tiafimo at this point, just yeah. based off of what we've seen. Like I know that I, I picked him to went by stoppage um, against Claggett, but those are the kinds of performance fighters that he hasn't really been looking great against lately. So uh, anyways, I, I'll stick to my prediction, but like we've mentioned, Tiafimo is a very hot, cold, uh, inconsistent fighter. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully that changes. Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> it's a tricky one. I think there's, as you said, it's such a loaded division. I think Tiafimo, the for me, my favorite Tiafimo Lopez performance. It, it's not against Lomachenko, although that was that was fantastic. I just think the performance against Josh Taylor, he made Josh Taylor look like such an ordinary fighter. It was so impressive. And I just think Lopez raises his game when he's up against better opposition. And that's one of the reasons why he's so hot and cold. And I think Lee Imparo, unification fight. The timing is kind of right. Lee Imparo fought very recently. Lopez is fighting tonight. So those guys you'd like to think could could fight um, kind of between October and December this year in a unification fight. Whether that's big enough for Tiafimo Lopez to to give us a, a great performance, I don't know. But we'll see. He has to get past Steve Plagger first. Thomas, good to speak to you as always. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your prediction. I will speak to you again very, very soon. Thank you.